Welcome back to another racing event here in the 2019 season. I'm FHRC Brony, and today we're not going to be doing this race in Forza Motorsport 7. We are doing this in Forza Motorsport 6 because there's no Toyotas in Motorsport 7. And the races are off. And by the way, we are with uh, Shadowbolt Racer Sugarcoat. And the reason why I'm saying we're not doing this in Forza Motorsport 7 because there's no Toyotas there. And I mean, Technically, there are Toyotas in Forza Motorsport 7, but, you know, they're not like the good ones, like the Supra, the LFA, the A86, the FRS, unless if you're going to be counting that Subaru BRZ. But, let's just put it in general, there's no uh, production Toyotas. And what I mean by there are tech, there's still technically Toyotas in Motorsport 7, they're just NASCAR Camrys and those off-road vehicles that hardly anybody cares about. Which is kind of funny because you can still 2JZ swap a, a car in Ford Motorsport 7 but cannot have the Supra. Which is kind of unusual. Anyways, uh, enough of that blabbering. Shunko is now coming through turn 7. Right behind the Bugatti EV110. And coming into the back straight about to enter turn 8 with a Dunlop. And if you guys are wondering, uh, it, are we going to go around the north slide with Sugarcoat? And the answer is a plain and simple no. So uh, don't I have a comp. I have a I have a fellow subscriber on my channel that wants to see Green Hell in action uh, with this 2JZ monster. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen in today's video. Uh, but Sugarcoat will be getting an opportunity to race around the north slide. Uh, whenever the time comes, but as of right now, we have a racing event here on the Grand Prix circuit. And a sugar coat has already successfully passed the Michael Schumacher S. She is now coming into uh, turn 12, which is the bit curve, coming into the flat out section on turn 13, passing the Enzo Ferrari, and about to pass, ooh, pass the Lamborghini Huracan through the narrowest part of the track. And what I mean by narrowest part of the track, I'm, I mean when that Huracan was like towards the grass, it's like, you know, you know what I mean. So anyways, the Sugar Coast coming in through turn 16 uh, with the McLaren F1 long tail still in the lead. And we're coming here into the final stretch, about to enter the second lap of the race. The McLaren F1 GT is still up in the lead. Sugar Coat is still doing really good out there. The 2JZ Monster is doing really well around the Nürburgring. Coming into turn one, wide right there but she's still on the track that's what, ma what that's really what matters most staying on the track not really getting off the track so coming into turn two going through mercedes arena about to enter turn three good job there hugging that turn by sugarcoat and she's coming in to turn five actually no sorry turn four now this one over here is turn five now she's still right behind that mclaren f1 long tail is now entering through turn six. The 2JZ Monster is still trying to keep up with that BMW V12 powered McLaren. And it's coming into the final, not final stretch, but the back stretch coming into turn eight. The McLaren F1 Longtail still up in the lead as they now enter into turn eight. Junico hits the brakes right there and trying to avoid not to hit the McLaren F1 Longtail. Coming into the Michael Schumacher S. Coming into turn 9. Welcome to Michael Schumacher S once again, Sugar Coat. Oh, she's a little bit wide there on Michael Schumacher S. And he's passed through turn 10. Still right behind the McLaren F1 long tail. Coming into turn 11. Nice job hugging that turn by Sugar Coat. Still behind the McLaren. Is the 2JZ uh, monster struggling to get past the McLaren? Oh, it looks like she's about to pass the McLaren F1 right there. And she passes the McLaren F1 long tail with all success. And she's now entering into the flat out section. Wonderful drive by the 2JZ monster. And the Shadow Bolts are now in the lead. Coming into the chicane, turn 14 and turn 15. Wonderful drive by Sugarco coming into turn 16. Good job by Sugarcoat. And a little bit swirly over there, but she's still on the track. Nicely done. And the first half of the race is now over. We are now beginning the second half of the race. That is just amazing, amazing driving by Sugarcoat. Coming into turn one. Uh, this time she's now hugging the turn really well. 
good job. Now she's coming into turn two, about to enter Mercedes Arena. Ooh, a little swirly over there. She almost lost that control. Wonderful drive by Sugarcoat, keeping that car maintained. Coming into turn three, now entering turn four. Now once again, coming out of turn four, coming into turn five, and out of turn five. Entering RTL. And now she's about to enter turn six. A little bit too wide there. And nicely done by hugging that turn. Coming into turn seven, into Ford Curve. Now the back stretch is now beginning with the 2JZ Monster being driven by Sugarcoat. And Sugarcoat has been owning this Toyota Super ever since Horizon 1. So it's already since 2012 when uh, she had this car actually. Technically in the fan fiction it's actually a lot later than that. But you get what I mean. Sugarcoat's coming out of the back stretch out of turn 8 coming into Michael Schumacher S. Wonderful job right there on Michael Schumacher S. Not the best part of the flat out section but it's good coming into turn 11 by sugarcoat wonderful 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 right there coming into turn 12 great job by sugarcoat keeping that 2jz monster tamed but also keeping that aggressive driving once again going flat out right there on turn 13 2JZ Monster. Oh, oh, okay. That's a little bit of some breaking right there. The 2JZ Monster is still coming in the lead. Giving all those other racers what she got. This is, this is, I've seen a lot of Toyota Supers being uh, already demolishing a lot of the other drag racers out on the drag strip, but it really, what really matters the most than just straight line sleepers is really having cars like this that's like a really tunable engine to actually compete around the Nürburgring it's probably one of the reasons why that uh, Toyota did not put the 2JZ in the Castrol Tom Supra nor the Denso Sarge Supra like what you guys see in the Gran Turismo series and also in the early Forza Motorsport series specifically Forza Motorsport 4 the where they have the Castrol Tom Supra and if you guys don't know, they actually use a four-cylinder instead of an inline six. They did not put the 2JZ in those due to regulations. Probably one of the reasons why the Super engine is like kind of banned-ish from Super GT. Anyways, Sugarcoat coming into turn seven, coming into the back stretch. Wonderful job by Sugarcoat. And she's doing this final lap really well so far. Coming into turn eight. Good job by Sugarcoat. Hugging that turn really well. Coming into the Michael Schumacher S. Good job, good job. Wonderful, wonderful coming out and into the Michael Schumacher S. Coming into turn 11. The 2JZ Monster. I keep saying that, but I mean, that's what people really call the Supra. 2JZ Monster, because you know it is coming out of turn turn 12. Okay, coming into the flat out section once again. She's going flat out. Oh my goodness, that is impressive right there. That is really really good. Coming into the final chicane, turn 14 and 15. Marvelous, marvelous right there. Coming into the final turn, which is turn 16. Nicely done, nicely done. Oh, I spoke a little too soon. She's getting a little bit swirly right there, but she's still on the track. Wonderful. And now we got ourselves a winner here. Marvelous job by Sugarcoat herself and the wonderful driving skills of the 2JZ Monster, the Toyota Supra. Mark IV specifically.